Hey everybody, it's Bill from AtTracker.com and welcome to this episode of Behind the Mask. There's been a lot of resurgence of some older toy lines lately. You got G.I. Joe, you have uh, Turtles that are revolving, you have the Batman animated series line, and you have Masters of the Universe, and I'm sure there's some other elements too. Um, you have uh, Ghostbusters, the real Ghostbusters. Um, and some of the Star Wars, the original figures are repackaged. It's, it's a really cool time to get those items if you're lucky enough to be able to find them without paying a scalper price. So I went to my local Walmart to try to find some of these figures and well, let's take a quick look at it here. Yeah, uh, that was probably actually the tenth time I've been there, <laughs> um, and there's a couple different ones in my area, so I've struck out pretty much all the time. Um, I will say that risking my life to go into a Walmart where people are not wearing their mask properly, you're supposed to wear your mask like this, right? You're supposed to cover your nose and your mouth. People have them like this, hanging off their ear. This is the proper way to wear it, and nobody's doing it. Um, or this way, you know, whatever way works for you. And it's kind of frustrating because you go and you see other people, like, you know, I'm in other groups and I see people posting, oh, I got this, I got this, I got this, and I know there's one person in particular that I'm hoping is able to find me a battle cat, um, I hope. But I was able to get them. I had to pay some scalper pricing. And I'm not thrilled about that because they just came out. Um, it wasn't that much over the cost, but it was enough to make me kind of upset. So I have them here. And if you know my collection, um, I don't like things in packages. So we're going to open them up and compare them to the older figures. And now I only have two. I have He-Man and Skeletor. And the packages are beat up anyway, so I'm not going to lose any sleep over them being, you know, open. Uh, I'm sure at some point Mattel will actually produce enough of these to actually get them in everybody's hand. But I'm going to open it up and I'm going to compare with the the classics. Oh, this is um, actually not Skeletor's actual sword. This is from the classics line. Uh, I picked this sword up just because I needed the sword at um, RetroCon. I just wanted a sword for Skeletor, but I couldn't find his original. So, that's why. In case you were going to point it out. But we're going to start with Skeletor, because he's, um, he's looking surprised here. He's, uh, he's definitely looking surprised. So we're going to open this up. Don't, don't get upset. It's okay. did it. And it comes with a comic book. Beast Barrage. And we got a sack of goodies here. You got his sword and his scepter. And you got these annoying freaking little claspy things in here. So let's get the trusty pocket knife and let's give it a cut. And 
out of the line here that what we have, there's a couple other figures just so you're aware if you're looking for the other ones in your collection that you're, you know, going for anyway. There's also Prince Adam that comes with a, um, I think a, a jet. I forget the exact term, but he does come with something. So, yeah, so we got... So much stuff in my way. Tape. Ugh. Now I think the retail on these is twenty. If I or nineteen ninety nine. Battle Cat is twenty five, and I think it's a Sam Prince Adam. If I'm incorrect on any of those, let me know. I I can't open. What's happening? Alright, I got the sword. The scepter's gonna have to wait. Oh, he's got another thing in here to hold them back. Alright. So we got them popped out. Uh, wow, he's got a lot more articulation, I'll tell you that much. So the feet bend. See here. The knees bend, which they don't do on the original. Um, you can do a nice back crack by just, you know, turning your tire back there. A lot of articulation there. Um, the head's kind of weird. I don't know why they sculpt it that way. Um, I mean, I'm not complaining about it. It's just odd that he's just sitting there with his mouth gaping open. So let's compare. What do we got? Uh, colors, I don't know if mine's just a little worn, but the colors are pretty similar though. The head sculpt is obviously not the same. The plastic piece on this one is a lot more refined, a lot more detail. And again, you have a lot more articulation. Can, let's see, does the head pop off? Looks like the head can pop off, so there maybe there's like a way you can mix and match them. I don't know for sure though. Yeah, Skeletor is not that bad. And it'll look great in my collection. Let's take a look at He-Man. Here he is here. And on the back it says, fit power sword into hand and twist into powerful battle positions. And um, I think it's the same thing for Skeletor. Ugh. Fit Havoc staff into hand. Well, they didn't talk about the sword, but the staff. Here we go. Opening it up. I'm sorry if any of you died inside. What comic do we have here? Beast Barrage again. So it's the same one. Nothing new. We got... He-Man here, being held in place by these plastic shackles. All right, let's pop them out. All right, we got He-Man out of there. So I want to get the accessories out of here first. So He-Man comes with his axe, his shield, and his sword. And it looks like the shield would go on the sand here, with the open, the open hand. And then you can put the power sword in this hand. If I can get it in there, that'd be great. Come on. It fell. I can't get the sword in his hand. <laughs> okay. Right, then we got the axe, which will just kind of hang out here for a minute. So, there's a spot on his back here to put the sword in. Um, 
there wasn't really that spot for the original He-Man. So let's look at them. I don't have the original one shield, but you can kind of look at them. A lot brighter color on the hair. Um, you got a little bit more of you know, some accent colors going on with, with the newer version. The articulation is the same as Skeletor. You have pretty much full mobility on them. And yeah, let's put the sword in the back here. There we go. And let's hold the axe. So, there you go. So here is Surprise Skeletor and He-Man with a dyed haircut. Um, these are the only two I'm going to get. Uh, I do want, I, well, I want to get Battle Cat as well. So, after that though, um, that's when I'm stopping. Uh, just because I know I can't afford to take on a whole other collection, but I wanted to have those just because I can't do this with masks. I don't have new things to compare old things to. Uh, maybe one day I will, but not anytime soon that I know of. But if you have these figures, let me know your thoughts of them and if you like them as much as the originals. Uh, I, I do. Uh, obviously, they have their own nuances, but they're, they're different but not different, not too different where it's such a drastic change. That's how I feel about them. So, again, uh, let me know your thoughts on them. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to help keep Mask alive. And this is Bill from MattTracker.com, and I'll talk to you later.